Hey guys! Happy Saturday and welcome to my another mini vlog. So I'm out here to do some organic shopping this weekend, specifically the vegetables. Well, um, here we can get organic stuffs anywhere we like, but since it's weekend and holiday time, we thought let's take a short road trip in and around and just explore and get some vegetables at the same time. So here we go. So just to give a heads up guys, Sikkim was declared as India's first fully organic state back in 2016 and it had all began on 2003 when the government here started with organic mission process and it stopped imports of chemical fertilizers. So since then, the state has bagged many awards, recognitions from organizations such as United Nations as well. And it has become a model state for not just India, but for worldwide platform. Hey, so we reached uh, an organic stall. So if you have been in Sikkim or if you ever come visit Sikkim, you'll find lots of organic stalls by the roadside that the local people you know uh, bring in their fresh produce and we can buy it anywhere we can stop by and just buy it so my sister here she's shopping for the organic so stuff these are all organic sold by the lady here so looks like my sister got some stuff let's look so this is Methi ki saag. She got uh, the bananas and what is this? Panchamukhi. Panchamukhi. <laughs> this is also kind of vegetable. And another stuff here is a fruit. Uh, it's big in size and, and it's like an orange when you peel it off. So okay, let's move on to the next destination. So basically guys, these type of stalls may vary from place to place or even person to person who sets it up and not just fruits and vegetables you might be lucky enough to find homemade wines depends on the seasonal fruits that have grown at that time and uh, seeds that you can plant it on your own or even uh, homemade snacks that you can grab for yourself and some crafty items and make sure you explore these stalls or stop by or be an early grabber, of course. So we've reached another destination and you'll find this place en route to Gangtok. And lots of tourists do stop here because not just vegetables, there are lots of other stuffs that are homemade. And uh, you'll also find uh, corn. You know corn so let me give you a rough tour of the stalls by this end of the road so let's start so as you can see guys these are some items that the stall was selling that day and it is not just fruits or vegetables like I mentioned and may I also say since these people set up stalls either on daily or weekly basis, it's always in limited quantity. And here is a type of cherry chili. It has grabbed a geographical identification tag back in 2020. And it is called the Lake Horsani. <laughs> and currently it sells for 300 to 400 per kg. Yeah. And there, there were also these stalls, they were selling corn. You can just stop by, sit and eat. So another important thing that I was really proud of, you know, was most of this stall had a UPI payment system and it feels great that India is getting digitized in nook and corner of the country. So yeah. So here are some snacks that are native to the state. Honeycombs and this is called khabse. So make sure you have a taste of it if you ever visit. 
and uh, even here you can just see there is uh, the powder of chana and the bottle is of curd and these are called jero and it's also a snacking item She got these beans and red sag, red sag and that is farsi pumpkin and what is what else and that we call chicharela and she jora. got huh jora oh okay jora and that <laughs> is <laughs> that is a root of squash and she also got these brinjals uh, all organic. And this pulse dal. So we are all set for this week. So towards the end, we thought let's go to a cafeteria and eat some snacks. So it also happens to be a viewpoint, and lucky for me, the spot is nearby my house. So yeah guys we reached there a very casual place to hang out spend time and be with nature the view is really captivating in fact the cherry blossoms were up and if you see the background mountain that is gangtok and not just gangtok if you spot the mountain range behind gangtok where the clouds are floating that is natula pass and the natula range is in border with tibet or china as we can say also the recent doklam issue that happened between india and china is in that region and it is also a significant place where all the trade with tibet takes place with india through sikkim the route to kailash mansarovar yatra is opened from natula since 2015 and it is considered as one of the shortest and motorable route suitable to any age group so that's it guys you can visit natula if you ever come to sikkim so here it goes the sun is already half set in gangtok and it's time to go home that's it guys i hope you enjoyed my mini vlog do like share and subscribe and don't forget to share your thoughts on the comment box i hope we'll meet again in my next vlog till then take care bye bye see you